One of the things you might hear us talk a lot about is a cap, a so-called cap in the atmosphere that can either inhibit or delay thunderstorm development and can be important and an important ingredient in most severe weather events. Meteorologist Kendall Smith is here to talk a little bit more about how this atmospheric lid, so to speak, can impact severe storm development. So anytime we're talking about severe weather, the cap is part of the discussion. And you oftentimes probably have heard us as meteorologists refer to the cap because it can either make or break a forecast. But what exactly is it? Well, essentially, it is a warm layer of air aloft that can limit storm development. So this phenomenon, it's more formally known as a temperature inversion. So the cap essentially just traps cooler air beneath it, preventing thunderstorms from rising or convection, essentially, that warm air. And so unless the cap is broken or weakened, well, then we aren't going to have that explosive development. So notice as we're looking at what has to take place, especially in the atmosphere. I'll, I'll go ahead and show you this really fascinating kind of description. When you're looking at the atmosphere and you think about it, I like to refer to it as, as a cake. There's several layers of the atmosphere. And as you head a little further up, that's where you find that warm layer of air aloft. And it's relatively thin. And so that helps to suppress that vertical storm growth. And a good way to think about this is if you have a pot of bo boiling water on a stove. If you have a lid on that pot, well, of course, yes, Yes, your pot, your water may begin to boil, but it's it's remaining confined in the pot itself. But then, if you remove that lid, well, of course, all of the steam and all the bubbles that begins to uh, just explode right out of that pot, and that's exactly what takes place when we are talking about the overall atmosphere and when we're concerned with severe weather. Today's particular situation is that we've got a weakly capped environment, meaning that especially in places a little further to the south, we will see the potential for these thunderstorms to develop within that general region, but especially once that cap begins to erode or break, that's another way to describe it, that's when we are more likely to see the explosive development of these thunderstorms. So this is 2 o'clock this afternoon, and notice, yes, we will have storms underway still in the Dakotas and also up into the UP of Michigan, Wisconsin, but really it's going to be later on in the forecast period. So we're talking about later this afternoon and into the evening when we really start to see that Kappa Road and also the explosive development of some of these supercells. Some of these supercells are going to be what we call discrete and semi-discrete in nature, meaning that they're individual storms. And so those are the ones that are more likely to also begin to rotate, especially closer to that surface low. That's a big issue for us as well. So there is a lot to keep in mind in terms of severe weather, especially this time of the year, but understanding the cap and how crucial it is, especially in terms of making and or breaking a forecast, well, that is something to understand and also understand that today we do have a capped environment in place. That phrase, the cap, uh, which by the way, thank you, Kendall, but it was uh, kind of made famous by the movie Twister. Marissa, do you remember mm -hmm. them talking about the, the cap is weakening? Yes. That's, it's, you, you almost, is it table talk? I don't know. It's, it's very scientific. It is here. It's here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it, it's here, isn't it? At this table. But also Brandon Kopic, one of our uh, storm trackers, Fox Weather exclusive one, he mentioned it just yesterday in a post on X. The tweet, you, you read it there, absolutely incredible work by those who are on the Nebraska a supercell. There was this long-lived supercell last night in the state of Nebraska. It was wild to watch on radar, but then you see a second line. I enjoyed a wonderful cat bust today, but I have zero complaints. Cat busts may, um, can we say that word on air? Suck. Uh, but it keeps you <laughs> humble. Never stop. The uh, the, cap, the cat bust mm -hmm. that we have, I, I think it is a, I mean, whenever you yeah. are a part of the cap, it's good weather. Yeah. But when you aren't, you get a supercell like we saw mm -hmm. in, in Nebraska. But but that cap sometimes can, can hold the environment. Yeah. If it does bust, you want it out in a rural area. You mm -hmm. want it to be in an area that's not populated. Uh, you can say the word. Okay, thank you. But I... I was always taught it was a swear word and never allowed to say it. So it still makes me blush. Me too. Can't me too. It. And I made it worse by pausing. <laughs>